ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Seinfeld. Thank you. <clears throat> Tonight's a very special night for television, especially for those of us who work in it. It's a chance for us to express to ourselves how much we enjoy our own work. <laughs> a chance to say congratulations to us on another year's job well done. Oh, sure, most of us that are nominated tonight employ a phalanx of agents, managers, and publicists to tell us these things on a daily basis anyway, but you'd be surprised how much we enjoy hearing it just one more time <laughs> on national television with millions of people watching. Because in the end, when all the fanfare and the flowery speeches have faded away, each and every one of us here tonight means so much to ourselves. I know I certainly mean a great deal to me, and sometimes I can't thank me enough. That's why tonight is so important to us, one night where our entire wonderful TV industry can gather to say, we like us, we really like us. <laughs> and speaking of like, I really like every nominee in this category for Outstanding Variety or Comedy Series. They are. Late Show with David Letterman. I'll be right back. Put these here in my pocket. I'll take care of it. MTV Unplugged. Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a friend, as a friend, as a known enemy. Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. Nobody cares. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, uh, could you arrange for me uh, a... Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. No, I have this carry-on, and I was just wondering... Here's me. Bye-bye. Here's you. I want to say something important. Me. Bye-bye. You. I'm Joe Carry-on. Let me through. I'm a big man. I don't check nothing. Me. Bye-bye. You. I'm cool. I wear a suit. No way am I a loser. Well, you're wrong. Now, bye-bye. <laughs> the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. My buddy Ed up there, who's got the first question? What do you, what do you want to know? Yeah, are there any problems associated with liposuction? Liposuction? No. <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I'll tell you, you know, when I'm with a girl, I don't force her to do nothing, okay? <laughs> I mean, it seems to me, you know, no way, no way. No, you bring a woman flowers, maybe get her some candy, maybe dinner, then, then you get the liposuction a little later. <laughs> Dennis Miller Live. Here we see Walter Mondale viewing the single ballot that was cast for him in the 1984 presidential election. <laughs> Little Camille Hickmanoff of Chernobyl, Russia is seen here practicing Olympic swim routine. <laughs> and James Earl Jones prepares for his role as Rick James' dad in the upcoming Fox docudrama. And the Emmy goes to Late Show with David Letterman. I, uh, I don't live here anymore, so I'm a little confused when Faye Dunaway says, 
This town has heart. <laughs> is she talking about Hollywood or is she talking about Pasadena? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Okay, can you, can you tell from looking at my hair that I rented a convertible? Thank you. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I, I don't need to tell you folks that there's been a huge mistake. <laughs> the, uh, um, the, the people to, to thank for this, uh, I mean, just, you know, thanks to everybody. Thanks to... Anybody draw on breath right now? Thank you very much. <laughs> the, I, I have very little to do with the show. Every day about five after my manicure, I put on a suit and go to work. And, and it, it really is the success that we've enjoyed for the, uh, the first year uh, is all credit to the staff members and the crew and some of the people you see standing behind me. <laughs> you know, I mean, Jerry helps when he can, but he's... A, But, you, you know, seriously, win or lose, it's just great to be in Pasadena. Thank you very much. The Emmys will continue with Candace Bergen, Dennis Franz, and the outstanding lead actress in a miniseries or a special.